ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 28th of January. James Spann here in the home weather center and we are watching an interesting weather day temperatures going the wrong way today as cold air makes a return a lot to talk about let's get right to it we'll take a look at the sky cam shot this morning here's a look at the uh, downtown birmingham view looking south on top of the daniel building it's still mild uh, birmingham at 60 degrees at five o'clock but you know it's going to be around 35 by the time you drive home from work today at five o'clock up in Walker County, rain is falling. That's the view from the King Building in downtown Jasper. Uh, they're still mild in the 50s, but they're going to drop into the 30s fairly soon by midday. And the same deal in Huntsville. Uh, they're showing, uh, I think, 55 degrees at 5 o'clock, but the cold air really knocking on their door. Well, you can see the trough that's been over the southwest is kicking out. That is ending the ice for Texas and Oklahoma and pushing the big winter storm onto the east. Problems continue north of that red line. That's the freeze line at the surface. And you can see it's just north of Little Rock and Memphis and Nashville. And again, it's an icy mess just north of that line. Uh, and uh, here's a look at our temperatures this morning. Hey, hey, looking pretty good, huh? Low 60s at 5 o'clock, but our sky watcher at Hamilton is now reporting 44. Uh, they pulled down nearly 20 degrees, and that's the way we're going to see it. Uh, you'll notice the plunge through the uh, mid to late morning, and again, I think we reach the 30s by afternoon. It's going to be a big, big dive today. And there comes the rain. Looks like a little band of heavier showers, maybe some thunder on that uh, nose of the rain uh, running from near uh, Smith Lake down to Tuscaloosa and Utah. And uh, that batch of rain will be in the Birmingham Metro for the morning drive this morning. Uh, we're expecting rainfall amounts of about one-half inch today. There's the big picture. Really, you can see uh, two bands of rain, one on the front itself and the other back in the cold air. And we'll see both of those today. And, uh, of course, the other question, will there be any snowflakes? Well, there could be in spots, but we don't expect any weather problems. The problems are in those highlighted areas here on this big map. Now, let me just say this. You see some counties in Alabama under an advisory. That is a wind advisory today, not a winter weather advisory. The uh, winter weather issues run from uh, north Louisiana and Arkansas up into uh, northern Tennessee and points north. Big snow up in New England today, big one. And that will be impacting the major airports, uh, Boston, uh, New York City, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Washington, D.C., Baltimore. So if you're trying to fly up there, good luck with that. And there's the expected precipitation ballot through Sunday evening. And again, that's suggesting uh, maybe a quarter to a half inch, and that's probably right. I, you know, we've been saying a half inch. That might be a little on the high end. Perhaps say a quarter to a half inch is a better way of saying it for today. Now, here's the uh, modeling. This is the 06 EGFS at noon today. Our wave is lifting north. And here comes the cold air. Uh, surface low is uh, up there around Pittsburgh. Uh, and again, rain will be off and on today with temperatures dropping from the low 60s here in the pre-dawn hours to the 30s this afternoon. And there is a little window where a few snowflakes could mix in with that rain over northwest Alabama, but uh, won't cause any problems, we think, because the ground is warm and surface temperature should be above freezing. So there's just no issue with that. The issue is you're going to need a jacket. I know when you walk out the door, you're thinking, hey, it's pretty warm out here, but... You'll need that jacket this afternoon, no doubt about that. Tomorrow will be a dry and cool day. High should be around 50. And then Friday, the trough sharpens up again. And that's going to be a uh, pretty raw day. Windy, cold, have a hard time getting out of the 30s. We'll say a high of 40 with a wind chill index below freezing much of the day. Maybe a few flurries up north over uh, eastern Tennessee. Saturday, the high right over us. The low should be close to 20 with teens for the valleys. It'll be a very cold morning, but we'll warm up to near 50 Saturday afternoon. And then Sunday looks uh, dry with a high in the mid-50s. And here comes another batch of cold air to the north and a glob of moisture to the west. And all oh, the snow lovers are buzzing about this. Monday, the GFS three runs in a row. Very persistent now. Support from other global models. It's on the table. Uh, of a precipitation event Monday. There's the upper chart. Nice trough coming in down below that. A nice surface low forms. 
uh, in the northern Gulf, moving inland down there around Apalachicola. The freeze line at 5,000 feet, which can be a rain snow line, not always, but can be, is almost down to Montgomery. And that's suggesting potential for a really good snow for uh, Birmingham, Anniston, and Gadsden in Fort Payne. But remember, before we go crazy on this, understand, you all, look, longtime viewers of this know that there is not a lot of skill in forecasting a winter storm five days in advance or six days in advance. And we're sure not going to jump all over this. All we're going to do in the public's forecast side, for those that are not weather weenies and watch these videos, we're just going to say colder, a good chance of rain or snow, and just address this after we get today out of the way. Uh, you know, we take them one at a time, so tomorrow we can focus on this. We'll have four more runs under our belt, and we'll see if it's still there. Sure, the hope is there, but don't get your hopes too high yet. Let's don't jump on it yet. And then Tuesday, look at the Nor'easter bombing out. Good grief, up over uh, uh, New England around Long Island. That will be a winter storm to remember in New England, if that's right, and for the middle Atlantic coast. Absolutely potential for a deep south snowstorm and a major nor'easter, but let's give it another day before we really call that a forecast. And then Wednesday of next week, we're cool and dry. Uh, three days later on the 7th, interesting trough there. And again, that looks like another Gulf-type low with uh, maybe some rain or snow on the backside. And on the 12th, same deal. Negative tilt trough coming through. Deep low moving from the Gulf up into the South Atlantic. Uh, looks like we're going to have a series of these things. So if we miss it Monday, maybe it will happen again for the snow lovers at some point next month. Uh, again, it looks like it's going to be a very interesting series of weeks around here. But then again, aren't they all? That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.